All right, what's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here, founder and CEO of Executive Stride. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing a deep dive comparison between two SEO tools. One is Longtail Pro, the other is SEOdity, all right? These are two tools that are for SEO and have keyword research capabilities, as well as a few others, competitor analysis, and many more. We're going to look at the pros and cons and see which one you should choose for your business. Let's dive right into it. All right, so to start off, let me just say I did do two in-depth reviews on both of these tools on my channel. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see the ins and outs of of each different tool. Now, bear in mind, in my Longtail Pro uh, video, there were some sound issues. So if you don't want to, maybe if it's too bad on your end, you can just watch this video. You're going to get the gist of Longtail Pro and SEOdity. I did this review a couple days ago. It's a great tool. Both of them have their pros and cons, and we'll dive into that. But let's quickly just give a quick overview on their website. So here's their here's their website for SEOdity. So we can see here they have features of Keyword Research, Content Explorer, Onsite and Data Explorer, Rank Tracker, Backlinks, Performance, and Organic Traffic. So that is a lot of different features, right? And, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole entire website. I did do that on my in-depth SEO review, but you can see here, it's a nice website. It's a fairly established company. They have a lot. I really do like this tool, right? I just picked it up uh, a couple days ago. Uh, they had a flash sale on AppSumo, so I made sure to pick it up. I hope if you watched the SEO review, if you were lucky enough to pick it up, then, you know, you're welcome for notifying you about that. Um, if you're new to this channel, we do videos like this every single day. So make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any new tools, sales, or just business growth strategies because we post a lot of different topics on this channel. Anyways, so you can see backlink checker, keyword, keyword generator, SEO checker, website ranking, rank tracker, competitive analysis. So this tool does a lot. Quickly, if we look at the pricing right here, you can see that there is different tiers. We have tier one, two, three, and then custom tier. All right, tier one is 62 bucks per month. Tier two is 101 per month. Tier three is 204 per month. All right, you can see the you get unlimited projects for all. For tier one, uh, you get 100 technical audits per month, daily tracking keywords of 40 for all projects, um, and then track competitors, 10 backlinks, 20,000 and then you can see here without query limits for these things organic paid traffic keyword research content explorer that's pretty cool um on a side note but anyways integrations they have some good integrations google analytics google search console slack um you know for your team getting notifications reports etc they have uh capabilities of exporting reports into pdf format csv um and then google sheets google drive Great, great features. And then team members, five access to five users access to all projects. So that's pretty good for tier one. And then you can just see it goes up with tier two, up with tier three. And then if you really have a big team, you really like this tool, you can customize it and increase things that way. All right. So it has pretty fair pricing, in my opinion. And I went over all that in my last video. All right. Now, if we look, take a look at Longtail Pro's website and their pricing and see how it compares. So we see here Longtail Pro. Um, we can go to their features and let's take a look at their features. We have profound keyword research. So discover heaps of profitable keywords that are easy to optimize. SERP anal analysis, rank tracker, backlinks analysis, and site audit. All right, so some similar tools. All right, I think that just on a high level, I believe SEOdd does have a bit more features, a bit more tools. I would say it's more of like an all-around SEO suite. Uh, you can look at it, and Longtail Pro it does have a lot of those things. Like they do have Rank Tracker, they do have. All right, guys. So I was experiencing a few technical difficulties with the sound when recording this video. So I'm recording this afterwards. So I'm just, I recorded this whole section. I'm just going to go over, really skim through it now, just because, uh, you know, just to get right to the tutorials or right to the comparison. So you can see the in-depth indie dashboard, but I thought I may as well record this part right here so that you can actually see the pricing. So the pricing for each of these tools right here, um, we have tier one, tier two, and tier three. 
here is you can check it out. I'll, like I said, I'll leave links to all this down below. But 62 bucks per month for SEOD on their smallest plan, 38 for Longtail Pro on their smallest plan, then 67, 147. And then we have tier two, 101, tier three, 204. You can add and subtract certain things to make this lower if you like for any tier. And you can add a custom tier if you wanted more stuff, right? So uh, SCRD's plans are definitely more customizable um, in terms of like what they actually show for their tier one, tier two, tier two, tier two, tier three tier three it's a little bit more pricier than long tail pro but if you look at the actual uh limits you get four you get 10 more keywords tracked daily than oh wait is this yeah so you get 10 more keywords tracked than the long tail pro smaller plan and you know i'm not going to compare each and every single feature back and forth but there's certain features that you'll see that SEOD has a little bit more uh, limits on. And then there's certain stuff that you'll see Longtail Pro does. Now, if we're looking at the uh, lifetime deals between the two, if you didn't know already, um, SEOD did have a lifetime deal. There was a 94 or 96 hour sale a couple days ago. I did do a video on that. So like I say, that's why you should subscribe to this channel. If you like that type of content, if you want to stay up to date with the, the latest deals and trends and this and that, uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss this type of stuff. Right now, the lifetime deal isn't available. So if you want SEOD, you'd have to go with the lifetime plan. But um, I have the, I, I got tier one license of the SEOD deal and I got tier one of the long tail pro deal and I'm not going to compare back and forth every single little feature, but there are from, from you'll see throughout this video, there's certain things that actually long tail pro does have more, um, more, you know, limits on than SEOD, SEOD, SEOD has 20,000 backlinks per month. Um, Longtail Pro has, I think, 5,000 a day, uh, if I'm correct, right? That's what I, if I go here, uh, where is it? Longtail Pro, user stats, um, 5,000, and this resets in uh, every 24 hours, apparently. So, um, yeah, so Longtail Pro, uh, and also, too, I'll just quickly mention this. I did a full, you know, ex explanation of all this um, in, you know, initially, and I'll kind of just quickly explain it in this part right here. But if you look at the app sumo uh, section, Longtail Pro has 37 reviews and about 2.1 stars or tacos out of five. Uh, SEO has 4.2 uh, um, tacos out of five approximately and 31 reviews, right? So just from a review standpoint, SEO wins. Um, you can see here. You know the ceo right here marson so i don't i never spoken to him personally but uh he's doing a great job on the tool i talked to their support seem you know they're very helpful actually maybe i did maybe he was the one i spoke to i can't remember but um yeah if you look they have some questions here but if you go to the reviews and we're just looking at the reviews really quickly there's a lot of people on Longtail Pro that are refunding. And so seodd a lot of people are saying it's a great tool a must-have obviously there's going to be some um you know, limit fun limited functionality. Uh, you know, in terms of limited functionality, I mean, there are some limits, but I think it's in terms of like, depending on the plan, like, I don't think they're, I think it does, they're pretty generous with a lot of limits compared to other tools. Um, but uh, yeah, um, if you look at Longtail Pro, right, the reviews, we see refunding, you know, um, refunded, wish I could give zero. Really great tool, this person said. So some people are saying, good. My issue has been resolved. And basically, to sum things up, I don't want to go on and explain the whole entire story. I've explained it a couple of times. But Longtail Pro, they are actually, the founder is this guy, or the old founder, Niche, uh, niche Pursuits. The old founder was this gentleman, if we go right here. He's actually the owner of Niche Pursuits. His name is uh, Spencer Hawes. You can see here, 2011 to 2016, he founded Longtail Pro. So Longtail Pro has been one of those keyword research tools that's been around for a while. And I founded the popular, popular keyword research tool, Longtail Pro, after growing my business. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Right? So they he actually did sell this tool, so he's currently not the owner. But 
Uh, he built this tool based on how he used to rank his websites and his clients' websites. So you can check him out. And that's why Longtail Pro is a great tool. Um, but the issue was, I don't, I don't know if it was the, the new ownerships or this or that, whatever, but they did an AppSumo launch or not launch, they've been around, but they kind of just did an AppSumo deal, as you can see, and they weren't really ready, I guess. Like, I guess they, were, they said kind of like their support wasn't ready, their servers, this and that. They got a lot of traffic. I don't know what the case was specifically behind the scenes, but basically it was, you know, very unorganized, and the support, I guess, wasn't helping a lot of the people out. People got um, pissed off, which is understandable. I completely get it. Um... And yeah, there was just a lot of discrepancy between the, the plans they listed and what people thought they were actually getting. The rank tracker wasn't working initially. Certain features weren't working. People weren't getting, you know, just a bunch of stuff like this. So as I can see from now, you'll see throughout this video, a lot of this stuff has been resolved from what I can see on my end. Um, we'll take a deeper look into it, as you can see in this video um, going through it. But you'll see, you know, me personally, it's... Like I say in this video, I believe um, a few times, if you get tier one, it's 70 bucks. You know, for me personally, you can't really go wrong. This is a tool that's been around for a long time. App Sumo, any App Sumo deal that you get, you have 60 days after purchase. If you choose to refund it, the money will either go back into your bank account or as an App Sumo credit. So, literally, if you get this tool, there's literally no harm, no foul. If you like the tool, just keep it. If not, and refund it. It's no big deal. That's my opinion, right? Um, but I was planning on getting like a tier five or four, but just because of all the, the negative reviews and stuff, I was kind of skeptical. So I just decided to get the tier one and, and, uh, yeah, like, you know, that's, that's where I'm sticking to right now. Maybe in the future I'll upgrade to higher tier, but I don't know. That's where I am right now. It's been a few weeks since all this negative reviews and stuff. They have been getting their stuff a bit more in order. I hope they continue this. I hope you saw that there was one person say that, uh, he kind of was patient and now he's happy with it. Um, so I've been, I've just been patient with the team and, you know, I hope that they have a good support and their product works good and everything like this for the future. And yeah, I mean, I kind of, I have a safeguard because if I ever did want to refund it, I could just refund it before the 60 days and that's what you could do too. But I'm just letting you know as a disclaimer guys, so you kind of know what the background is behind this tool, the app sumo deal, why there's so many negative reviews and yeah, just kind of let you know what the deal is. Other than that guys though, I'm going to quickly show you a bit in the dashboard of both these tools. And then I'm going to pick off uh, in the editing from the actual video that uh, I initially recorded um, where the sound isn't uh, where the sound is good everything's good but basically the only thing that cut out was just me creating these projects right here so within SEOD, this is how you create a project you would just at, go to projects add a new project you type in the website so i just uh, for both of these tools i did i'm using everything structured around digital marketing agency toronto i'm from toronto so if you didn't know that now you know and um we were using this tool or this website called brand and motor i've just been using that for both of these uh, tools for this comparison. Um, so I typed in brand and motor. Uh, you can change this to Canada, of course, since we're doing a Toronto keyword. And I could do Toronto. As you can see, as I change it to tr uh, Canada, these keywords actually change. What I like about this tool is that when you're creating a project, it gives you these suggest suggested keywords. And it even shows like new beside it, right? This is a new keyword that it's ranking for. It shows the traffic, search volume, all this good stuff. So you can easily just click, click, click to add them, right? Like so. And you can also delete them and you can change the language or desktop and mobile, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then once you actually go about um, doing the, the, the search, you're going to get a domain overview like so. And you can see here the domain rank, the organic keywords, organic traffic, paid traffic, backlinks, referring domains, all this good stuff right from the original audit or the overview. And you can see your organic shares overview, your top keywords, a lot of different data. You can connect your Google Analytics and your Google Search Console, which I don't believe Longtail Pro can do. And now I'm just going to show you how it looks like in creating the project within Longtail Pro, right? So 
Over here, if you go to keyword research, you can see your projects. All you simply do is click the plus icon here and you can add a new project name. Once you create the project name, I actually created one right here for brand and motor. Um, I did a search for digital marketing agency, Toronto. You can go over here and add your domain. What this does is basically it will customize all the keyword uh, competitiveness score towards your domain based on its current trust flow and citation flow. All right, and you can change this to Canada, US, whatever. And then you can choose how you wanna do the search. Just type it in and this is what you would get. Boom, all right. And now I'm gonna you know, show you what else. Uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanna give this introduction. The audio is now gonna be good now. I'm gonna cut towards the initial video I recorded. I'm gonna be in both of these tools doing the initial comparison, doing the deep dive. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. So I hope you enjoy. Yeah, so the one thing I really like about SEO Diddy is that you have the presets right here. So um, rank, uh, best rank with high search volume, keywords with potential, low keyword or low difficulty keywords with high search volume. And you can easily just set these presets and you don't have to think about it. And they're already applied. So this is keywords with great potential, right? So we can see here, boom, we got search volume. Like this is like, you know, really good stuff. Um, yeah, it just has these keywords already and and it's just really great. It's really cool. Um, this is the organic traffic. We can see here our keyword diagram of new, uh, new keywords that are added, lost keywords, keywords that have gone up, keywords that have gone down that we're ranking for. And then we can see out of our keyword count, 157 for this domain, where the keywords are ranking on the first pages of Google. So uh, ranking number one, ranking two to three, uh, four to 10, 11 to 12, et cetera, et cetera. Well, this isn't the pages, this is actually the search position, right? So this is a search position of one. And then paid traffic. So paid traffic there, apparently from what we can tell, not running paid traffic. But the cool thing is actually, um, I mentioned this in my SEO to review. I'm not going to dive through this right now because I don't want to make this super, super long. But in SEO to like here, I'll maybe just do it real quick. Um, let me go to a different brand that is likely running traffic. Okay, let me go to this one. Um, looking for digital marketing. So obviously these guys are running paid traffic. So let's see how accurate this is. Marketing for you. Um Okay, we'll just try these guys, marketingforyou.ca. Where are we? Paid traffic. Let's see what we get here. Boom. Let's do Canada. Let's do search. Okay, I guess it is doing an analysis. So it did the analysis. Okay, so I guess the paid traffic isn't always perfect, right? Um, the paid traffic aspect looks like it isn't always perfect, which is, you know, understandable. Um, you know, it's, it's really, I guess you can't fully, you know, I guess it's really just the data depending on what data they have. But so let's see. All right. Anyways, so we'll just skip the paid traffic aspect, but you know, certain uh, sites, it will show certain stuff about paid traffic, similar to what we went over in the organic section. The one cool thing though, is you can see, so this is actually in, in the organic section, you have this as well. You can filter by new keywords and you can see the new keywords you're ranking for. And if I remove these filters, I'm not going to do it right now, but yeah, you could just kind of see that there. You can have those same filters, that those same tabs in the paid traffic. Uh, section. The only difference is you also have ads and new ads. So I believe it shows you ads they're running and new ads they're they're launching or something like that. So uh, we I did see some results in my SEO Diddy review I did a couple days ago. So if you want to see me going over that, you can click check out that video. I'll leave a link in the description below. And that's just a cool feature that you know not many tools have. Longtail Pro doesn't have it. That's why SEO to D really, really shines in terms of the, like their nice user interface, their white, their white label reports, their reporting, you know, their suite of tools, as well as their competitor analysis, sort of like uh, comparative to something like SpyFu or something like this. So that's where SEO to D really, really shines. Um, you can see they're on site. So I believe this is still for brand, uh, brand and motor the URL we typed in. So it does an audit, um, a site audit. So we can see 20, 
277 errors, 462 warnings, 39 notices. You can show current issues, all issues, categories. So you can show quality content, images, HTML tags, social tags, et cetera, et cetera. These are just technical SEO. Uh, this is a technical SEO analysis, uh, on-demand analysis. What does this do? So 50 out of 42. I'm not going to use this on-demand analysis because obviously um, I, I'm limited to them and I don't want to um, to use them all right now. Uh, how many do I have? Uh I don't know. I don't know where it is, but I currently have 250. I don't know if that's a monthly thing or whatever the case is, but yeah, you can run it on demand analysis, SCODD rank. So we calculate the SCODD rank based on the SEO indicators and the quality of the content on each of your sub pages. This is the algorithmic mean of ranking on all your sub pages, right? So I think the higher is based on SEO indicators. What's this? I uh, mean of the okay. So this is the mean of the ranking on your subpages. Okay, and then report. So if I wanted a report, generate report. This may take a few minutes. Don't close this window. So I, I'm just gonna cancel this. But yeah, you could generate a report. So very simply, like you saw how quick this was. I can generate an on-site SEO audit for myself, my website, any of my websites, my businesses, my clients, personal friends, whatever you know, competitors, uh, um, prospects, clients, any anyone you name, right? You can generate a quick. Uh, on-site audit, right? And then if you want to fix, and you can use this for many purposes to sell people your SEO services, or even just for your own website, you can generate this audit, you know, then hire someone off of Fiverr, Upwork, whatever, an SEO pro, or do it yourself. And you just say, hey, fix this on my website. And, you know, you can get it done. You can get your website website more technically optimized for their on on-page stuff, right? And then Data Explorer, let's check this out. So this is, you can add filter presets, HTML, whatever. Um, what is this? So select preset, internal, external, HTML, image, CSS, HTTP, HTTPS protocol, response, XX. Uh, yeah, so you can just use responses there. And you can kind of just see, I guess this, is, yeah, this is exploring. It's doing a that, like the data that is loading with on the website when it, your website is loading. So um, we could filter by like 100 and see you know, all this different stuff. There's going to be a lot of different stuff depending on how big the website is, right? But this could, you know, this is useful, right? Like this could be useful. This is not necessarily something that we would really maybe want right now, but in certain aspects you can see on your website, like, um, you know, what's loading on the website. Is there any issues with loading on the website? You know, if there's any timeouts or bad response types that you're getting. You can add rules, add groups. So this is just really cool stuff. This is like kind of extra above and beyond things and tools that SEO Diddy brings to the table that just like, I don't even think does Longtail Pro have a on-site analysis. Oh, they do have a site audit. So we'll come back and briefly touch on maybe some of the keyword stuff in a second, but let's just look at their site audit. Okay, so you do brand and motor. Okay, so they actually do. I can't even brand and more. Sorry. So I'm curious to see how this is going to look comparative to SEO to these. Bad domain. Okay, so I guess you don't want to do this. Yeah, so don't, when you're doing this, don't add the HTTPS initially. Um, number of pages. So I don't want to use too many. How much do I have again? Uh, site audit domains available, total page crawls. So I get 5,000. I'll just do like maybe, I wonder how much I have on SEO to the um, technical audit page web count. Okay, so I did crawl a lot there. I shouldn't have maybe done all that, but whatever. Um, 500. So you do actually get more stuff on Longtail Pro. I'll give them that. Uh, so the limits are actually lots of the times from what I can see, actually maybe a little bit higher, at least. Okay. Right now, just so you guys know, I'm on the lifetime deal for both of these tools. Um, I did a video the other day about how SEO did have a lifetime tool, uh, lifetime deal tool. So if you missed that video, like I said, some, like some of these stuff I post, it's like, you need to take action right away if you want it. So that's why I suggest subscribe, turn on post notifications. So if you want. Uh, it was a flash sale, right? So if you missed it, you missed it. But 
um, just just so you know what plans I'm on and uh, how they compare. So it really depends. You know, if you're on a monthly plan, it could be different. But on the lifetime deal plan, it looks like uh, they are, Life Long Tail Pro actually does have more pages, page crawl limits, five thousand comparative to twenty five hundred. So it's actually double. I'm just gonna crawl like a hundred, right? I don't wanna. I'm being stingy right now. And then source. Um, so, okay, before it does the analysis, it looks like you do have a lot of different options. Uh, delay. Um, we'll just do respect robots, I guess. Or minimum delay, whatever. Set mass to allow slash disallow URLs. Not going to do that. Not going to do this. Specify URL parameters. Not going to do that. Send email report once completed. So you can do all that. So you can customize it in that respect with some options. I believe probably you could do something similar maybe in, in here, but um, I can't say 100%. Uh, performance. Let's look at the performance. So we got performance. So this is first contentful paint, speed index, right? So it's giving us all these different things, analyzing. You can see PWA phone, uh, our progressive web app accessibility, best practices, SEO, and we're getting a score. This is powered by Lighthouse. And then redirect flow, so we can see any redirects we're getting, and then keyword cloud. Um, keywords cloud, let's try it. I don't know what this is even. I don't know what keyword cloud is. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, we got something. So we just, I guess it, depending on the certain page, it gives us the keyword cloud. Uh, marketing one point, so it shows all the keywords and the percentage of how much they're being, they're on that, that page, I guess, um, for certain pages at least. Um, and now let's see how Longtail Pro is doing. So SEO did, did generate it very, very quickly. I'm curious to see how Looks like Longtail Pro is probably going to take a bit longer, even though I only did a hundred, a um, hundred, uh, you know, pages. Pop issues. There is no issue. So yeah, it's still generating. Hopefully, it's going to generate um, while we're here. But um, I'm going to come back to that. We were just on. So we did the domain overview, organic traffic, paid traffic, on site. Uh, content Explorer. And now while Longtail Pro is doing that, we we did a lot of looking at the SEO to D. So I'm going to go back to Longtail Pro, look at SERP analysis. So add keywords. So let's use these same keywords we were looking at just for the sake of things. We'll do Digital Marketing Agency Toronto. Boom. We're going to do Canada just to stay on the same page. And we're going to retrieve this. So this is SERP analysis. Okay, so actually SERP analysis, I just realized, is the same thing as if we were in keyword research right here. Um, so keywords. What happened? Oh, these are my favorites because I favorited that one, right? Okay, so I would just show them the favorites. Makes sense. Brand and motor. So if we go here and I wanted to go to like social media marketing agency. Uh, from what I can see, I'm going to double check, but I think me clicking on this shows the same. Oh, maybe it doesn't show as much, but we'll see. So just so you guys know, uh, before I get into the SERP analysis, we have monthly search volume. If you click on any of them once in the in the keyword research, you're going to get this. And it's going to show the Google results breakdown, organic results, feature snippets, local search ads, knowledge graph, uh, competitive score, target keyword competitiveness, competitive analysis, Google organic search results, nine. So it's pulling the actual results for that keyword, which is really, really cool. And we're seeing for all these domains, the keyword competitiveness score, the domain keyword competitive, uh, what is this? Yeah, the domain keyword competitiveness score, the trust flow, the citation flow of that page. The uh, Okay, so the, yeah, this is the page. And then the domain trust flow and citation flow of the actual domain. And the, then the external backlinks, the page ref, back uh, domains, the root reference domains, the indexed URLs, the internal links, and the site age. So we're getting a lot of different data, like just, so the, actually this is really cool. I like this. A um, lot of, a lot of, you know, keyword research tools may not have as much info as this. Um, 
you know, obviously like the specific keyword research tools that are meant only for keyword research and they're actually like good tools such as uh obviously ahrefs semrush um key search a lot of these ones they'll have stuff like this but you know some of these other smaller tools that may just have a component of keyword research or seo tools they're not they may not have as many much information as this and you can export this which is really cool so that's why longtail pro is good because it's longtail pro it's meant f really for keyword research that's what kind of where it is supposed to you know strive in, in with right and like i said keep in mind there was a lot of issues going on there may still be some issues so um i'm not gonna say it's you know we'll have to see right we're still we're still checking everything out right there there may be some kinks but we'll see hopefully if there is any that they fix them but so far at least from what i've done in this video it looks like it's real it's from what if you didn't know anything about what i said initially about all that those negative reviews this and that i would be like wow this is this is really good i'm really excited and and that's why i'm still keeping it regardless because it's like i only got tier one so it's not that big of a deal and i'm still getting value at least from what i've done so far like this this is uh still a valuable tool for me personally at least but maybe it will be maybe it won't be for you depending on what we see in a bit but Okay, so Content Explorer on um, SEO today, we can see top pages. So this is just showing how many keyword, total account of keywords in SERPs related to page, organic traffic and paid traffic. So you can filter this from top to bottom, ascending to descending, um, have custom presets, add filters, export. You can change the location, obviously. So this is just basically stuff for the top pages and you can actually do a com domain comparison. So let's say brand and mortar, we wanted to compare it to um, digital marketing in Toronto. Okay, so this is this a directory or an actual, what the heck? I'm surprised this is, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna compare these two see what we get here boom and we'll do Canada boom boom okay and then start analysis okay um, showing results for boom okay so there's I guess this really just shows I think you can just click on this show more and then you'll see the data here if you wanted, you could check more on organic traffic, but it's just showing the organic traffic, the paid traffic, which is not pulling any. So I guess you can compare it in that regard, um, which is cool. And you can compare it here to see what keywords, how many keywords they have and the traffic. You could export this just like anything else. So it's just a cool feature um, as well. Could come in, could come in handy. Um, nothing too crazy, but let's go to rank tracker over here. And while we're there, Let's, you know, so we looked at this. I really like all of this. K, the whole KC loaded real quickly. Um, and yeah, so let's see. I, I advanced options. Yeah, so SERP analysis. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, I'm going to do this search right here. I don't know if it's going to be the exact same as what I just was looking at. SERP analysis. So yeah, it basically gives us. It may give us it, it may be giving us a little bit more info i don't know if the other one had this panel right here i can double check later but strongest um weakest so we're this basically this is cool it actually is showing us the strongest who's ranking for this keyword which is apparently this uh directory right here top 30 digital marketing agencies and it's showing the weakest so we can look at the weakest and they have a trust flow of two and a citation flow of 25 and it's like okay well, I could probably, you know, outrank this, this, uh, website potentially. Um, yeah. So it's showing that, right. And this is based on, and the rank 20, oh, and it's showing the KC score here too, I believe from, yeah. So this is the KC score. So it's green for the weakest competitors. So we should be able to outrank them. They're ranked number eight. So is actually that, that company we're just looking at. Um, competitive analysis, Google search results. So it's pulling those top nine, like we talked about. 
could export that showing all this stuff so yeah the SERP analysis is similar it's just the uh, if you want to do a one-off keyword search analysis you can do that here if you're in the keyword research area and you want to uh, expand upon a certain keyword it will basically do a SERP analysis on it which is real cool um, backlink analysis so we're in the backlinks here um, backlinks so we can do the backlinks and did we do the rank tracker? Let's do the rank tracker. Actually, we didn't do that yet. So we're going to type in the digital marketing AC Toronto and then brand motor. Add that in. How much rank tracking do I have? We get 10. Um, I could change this to Canada. Daily tracking, I guess it's, yeah, you only get you get daily search engines. So you can actually enable or disable specific ones. I guess actually you can only enable one from what I can see. So obviously I would do Google, but you can also do Yahoo or Bing. Um, you can actually create different projects for the rank tracker and you can edit, delete them just like before. And, and then, yeah, let me just retrieve this and see what we're looking at. Please enter a valid domain. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. So boom. There we go. And there we go. So your keywords have been successfully added. So let's see. So we got that here. Rank data is currently unavailable. Treat, please try again later. So yeah, this should update, right? Um, if it's it may take a little bit, so I'm not going to, I may not be able to actually see that data in this video for you guys. I don't know how long it's going to take, but what it would show is your current rankings. This graph shows the breakdown of how many keywords you're ranking for and how they're current, they're distributed for all keywords in your project. It shows improved keyword in one domain and decline. So it's just a rank tracker that is pretty, you know, basic, but hopefully from what I can see, it looks decent. Um, and then here is the SEO to D's rank tracker. So let's see. Um, okay. Okay. So these are okay. So this is actually cool, right? So remember when I created this project for brand and motor, um, the rank tracker is actually pulling in those three keywords. So if I wanted to add more, I could add more of those keywords or I could, yeah, that's pretty much it, right? And that's the keywords that will show in the rank tracker. And you can actually just click add keywords as well, right? And do it this way. So that is really cool. How many keywords do I personally have? Rank, oh yeah, I have 40. Uh, wait a minute. Daily track keywords count. No, I have 300, I think. Um, Long tail pro rank tracker usage uh, rank tracker 10 terms go to long tail pro projects oh yeah I guess that's what you get where's the rank tracker find rank Instantly generate up to four rank. Rank tracker. Okay, I, got, I, I think I was just thinking about the monthly plan where you get like 30. Um, so I was confused there. But yeah, I think it's accurate. Anyway, so let me see if Longtail Pro is loaded yet. So the rank data is still currently unavailable. So just initially off the rank tracker, uh, SEO to D is definitely, from what I can see, oh wait, I don't know if it's fully generated yet. Keyword difficulty. Um, yeah, I actually don't know if it is fully loaded yet either or not. I, I haven't really experimented in in uh, 
and what it's supposed to look like or if it's only going to really show us some data over time maybe um, but so I won't comment on the actual of, of that um, in terms of load speed because I can't fully tell I mean I can see that we have some data which is basically showing this is showing where we rank for for, the, for those positions this is showing if it's changed um, so that would come over time uh, best, I think that's the best score that we've ever had. So this would, you know, show over time. Keyword difficulty estimates a competition of keyword, CPC. So this stuff hasn't loaded or maybe it's not available or I don't know. I don't know if, what, what that's, why it's not loading there. Because I think we had that data in other areas of SCRD for those keywords. But um, at least we have some data. So in general, just off the rip, um, we have more data from SCRD initially. It loaded quicker. I don't know if it's fully loaded, but um, we do have some data. And currently on Longtail Pro, we have no data, and it's been a little bit longer. So I guess it's going to take a little bit longer for those keywords to load, which is fine. We probably won't be able to see all that in this video. But in, in general, it's hard to really say who has a better rank tracker. Um, I guess you get more rank tracking in SCODD on the lifetime deal as well as the monthly plan. And I mean, from what I can see, last month updated, I'm maybe leaning a bit more towards SCODD in my opinion, just because I like how you can easily just click add keyword and it gives you those suggestions already. Um, and all that stuff. And you can change the, this, like the location of search very easily and, and that, and everything like that. I think it gives you a bit more data. The interface is a little, a little bit nicer. I don't know if maybe if there's a quality difference and you can easily just export these as reports. So I, I maybe have to say I'm leaning a bit more towards SEOD in terms of rank tracking, but you know, if as long as long tail pro loads and it works okay then it seems like it is a pretty it could be a very a decent rank tracker um unless you know something wrong happens but I, you know it looks pretty good from what i can see um but i have it hasn't fully loaded yet so i won't be able to potentially tell you in this video um keyword research so this is actually the keyword research aspect so i'm going to do that same search we did uh, did a lot of this in long tail pro already so you can see we have keyword suggestions, keyword ideas, and related keywords. So similar to Longtail Pro, um, a bit different though. Let's do Canada. So search. And let's kind of quickly compare because this is where Longtail Pro is supposed to really shine, which is their keyword research. So I'm curious on how... Um, it was actually the first 20 I did that were... Keyword research for that. Uh, so it's like around there. Uh, SCODD, how much did it grab? I think it grabbed, it grabbed 15. So with Longtail Pro, you can set it to how much it can grab. So up to 400, which is kind of cool. Um, it's given us some good keywords. Uh, the one thing I, okay, so, it, okay, so boom, digital marketing agency. So the keyword difficulty hasn't loaded for these ones, it looks like, and the CPC, the search volume hasn't loaded for these ones. Oh, int oh okay. Now... The one thing I do like about Longtail Pro is once you do a search, those keywords stay here, right? So you can still access them. Even if I refreshed, I just refreshed um, SCODD here and we lost those keywords, it looks like. Now let me just do that search one more time. Canada, search. You can search by presets, which I like. We could add these to rank tracker. So if I select it all, we could add them to rank tracker. Um, uh, if if we wanted to, I I don't think I could add this many though, um, based on my limits. But so let's see. For example, 
Best Digital Marketing Agency in Toronto. Did we get that over here? Like the one thing I can notice right off the rip is that Longtail Pro did pull the average keyword competitiveness for every single keyword here pretty much. From what I can see, we got the bid for majority of them and we got we got like majority of you know information for every single keyword which i really like and we even got the volume um with seo to d it doesn't look like we got that for every single one and digital marketing agency toronto i'm curious to see how they compare so in terms of that actual data so here digital marketing agency toronto i'm gonna click on click on this okay so it's showing the same search volume of a thousand and then keyword competitiveness this is 43 longtail pro is 40 so it's similar longtail pro is showing that it's in the uh, green area seo to d is showing that it's in the yellow area uh, cpc cost per click um where is that do we have that cost per click 18 bucks oh no 18 13 yeah so 1368 1368 so same data so and let me just i'm curious to see if i search uh where is it best digital marketing using in toronto i'm curious if i'll get that data in longtail pro for this keyword i want to see if i get the average kc for this keyword um because i didn't get the average keyword difficulty score in seo to d and i do get that in longtail pro so like i said guys longtail pro is supposed to be known for their keyword research so i mean you know they did good on that end i'm getting some good data here guys i don't want to make this video super super long so i'm going to try to you know wrap things up here um Let's see. So, I I want to try one more thing. Um, let me try how to start an SMMA. Retrieve. Okay. During keyword. So. Because I was searching for stuff like this earlier with Longtail Pro, and it was I was having some issues. I'm curious if it's and actually I was searching for this in the how to start an SMMA in the I was actually using the suggested tool. I was using this as a seed keyword and searching for it. And I was, it's going to say, I don't think it's going to generate any results. Or, yeah, so limited keyword suggestions found for your seed keyword. Try shortening your search term or using more common phrases. So, okay, I saw that. What you, but I wasn't, I was kind of like, oh man, I can't. Um, oh, so it actually did generate some, but it's just limited. So it's actually not bad, right? And what I realized from making this video is if you want to like, do a, a SERP analysis for a specific keyword, you would just put it in there or do it in the SERP analysis. So that's how you would use it that way. Um, so when I can see, like, my analysis initially on Linktail Pro may not be correct. I've seen a lot of people saying they were getting this uh, right here, which is under, like, which is potentially understandable if that could be annoying. Um, let's try keyword suggestions right here for this, um, for this one right here. Got to start an SMMA. So we're actually not getting any with SEO to D. Wow, interesting. I thought I would like, okay, so we're getting one, <laughs> which is the same keyword. So we're not getting any keyword suggestions basically with SEO to D. So in general, like with this keyword research tool, I for, just from like, if I, I'm gonna be using these tools more and more throughout and maybe I'll change my decision. But based on just doing a uh, keyword research, generating suggestions and all this stuff, uh, Longtail Pro looks like it 
Um, maybe would, I'm leaning to more towards long tail pro in that respect, just from what I'm seeing in this video, maybe there's some stuff I'm missing. If so, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but let's get right into the last aspect, which is the backlinks on SEO to deep. So we can see our backlinks here. We can see anchor text status type added on last visited PR, DR and spam score. We can see different graphs here, active backlinks, etc. domain with subdomain or only domain, right? And then Longtail Pro. Um, so we did the SERP, we did the rank tracker, we did the analysis. Um, so this is actually the last feature on Longtail Pro as well. And let's do add this. Let's check out these backlinks. So we're just going to do, so you can either do an all or new backlinks or loss. So we'll retrieve these. How much backlinks do I get? Backlinks, 5,000. How much do they have here? Oh, God. I don't want to use all of them. Okay, so it generated. Oh, gosh. Did I just use all my backlinks? Oh, do I get 5,000 backlinks 24 hours? I don't know. I don't know how that works, but generated the backlinks Let's see maybe these are backlink searches I don't know anyway so we can see referring domains so yeah we see 479 total backlinks 7872 trust flow citation flow and we have our backlinks so no follow or do follow whatever um, we see indexed last seen date lost um, all right, so index, last seen, date lost. It's gonna have those three dates for every single one. Obviously, if the date, if it hasn't been lost, it's not gonna show. You could actually export these really easily. And there is a lot, you could just load more. You can show a hundred at once, right? And I actually really like, I, I think this feature wasn't working initially on Longtail Pro when I was using it. So I, I don't, I don't quote me. It may have been, but I actually haven't used this before. So I do like this. Um, so let's see how it looks on here. I think it's showing more. I think we got more results like total backlinks, uh, backlink is an incoming. We're getting, I believe more results on long tail pro than SEO to D from what I can see. How many referring domains do we have? not pulling it looks like it's not pulling any referring domains oh wait no it is here we go uh so it's it's got 141 or 411 referring domains uh longtail pro has 479 so longtail pro is pulling more and yeah it's just pulling more data and they do have this trust flow and citation flow which i don't think scod shows so um they do have these nice graphs up here, you know, showing, you know, on a date, a monthly basis and then new and lost. So I like that. Um, the interface with SEO to D is probably a bit more user, maybe a little bit more user friendly, but not even really because SEO to D is pretty, or sorry, long pro is pretty simple and user friendly, <laughs> but, um, their backlink analysis, it looks like at least from this one search, maybe other searches will, you know, I don't want to make this video too long, but from this one search, I would say that Longtail Pro did actually come pull more data. Um, Fifty, yeah. So it did pull more data. It's giving us I, maybe a bit more of an analysis. And who knows? Maybe this site audit that we did. The reason it could be taking so long, and I think it may have just actually fin no, it hasn't finished yet. But maybe it's because it's actually going to show us more data, which. Um, you know, which could make it come out as the winner for that. But I'll, you know, here's kind of what the site audit would look like, right? You can see it's that information. Um, oh, here, here's an example of a previous website site audit, just to kind of show you what it looks like, right? Crawled pages, you can see site health issues, errors, etc. Any issues, it's going to show you here crawled pages, statistics, this is coming soon, compared, compare crawls, and then progress. So site audit is pretty good. It just does take a bit longer. I can't really do an in-depth comparison on the two yet, just because this hasn't loaded. And uh, 
you know, but in general, I mean, I'd say long tail pro from what I've seen, it does look like it maybe pulls a little bit more data in some areas, at least for these searches, like the backlinks and the, uh, and, uh, what was it? I think it was the rank tracker. Uh, yeah, the rank tracker was pulling the keyword difficulty score more than SEO did So I say surprisingly, like, you know, it's just to kind of finish things off. Um, SEO to D is more of a, it has a suite of tools. It's, it's user, it's a little bit, you know, it's beginner friendly. It's user friendly. The interface is very nice. I really, really like this tool. Both of these tools, you know, even all the backlash long tail pro has, especially after making this video, I do like it a lot more, more than I did at the start of this video. I never disliked the tool. Uh, I'm still going to give them the benefit of the doubt and their team and this and that. I know that there's, you know, people saying the support was bad and all this stuff. So I'm telling you guys this as a disclaimer just as well. Um, I, I can't say a hundred percent from what I'm just telling you what I've seen so far, me reviewing this tool, etc. Um, you know, it's, it, it has usability. It, it, it has, it's a good tool in my opinion for my use case, at least like I'm going to still probably use this tool. I don't think I, I don't think I'll refund it because it's 70 bucks regardless. Like if it just works, like it's shown in this tutorial uh, or in this comparison, I don't see why I would refund it. I mean, it looks like they're improving some stuff. I don't know if there's any even issues anymore from what I can tell that you know, people are complaining about. Maybe there is. If there is, let me know in the description below or in the comments below. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you have a CODD already? Do you have long tail pro? Do you have both? Do you have a preference? Like, let me know what you guys think. I know this has been a long uh, comparison. I, you know, it is, it's been an in-depth one. Like we really covered major, like we covered all the features between each tools. Um, and I'm going to be doing more comparison videos guys. So if you want me to compare specific tools, SEO tools, AI copywriting tools, uh, whatever the case may be email marketing whatever let me know in the comments down below um and just so you guys know both of these tools do have kind of an extensive library of video tutorials uh long tail pro has like a boot camp right here i haven't actually gone through through it and then seo to d it looks like they have maybe they don't have an extensive amount of videos i don't know but they both have videos and helps i talked to their support their support's good from what i can see at least so far um and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. They, they both have, they're both, you know, long tail pro has been around for a while. Obviously they have new ownership and, you know, new people running the company. So people were kind of worried about maybe that's why there were some issues. I don't know, but from what I can see, at least it looks like hopefully from what they say, they say they're trying to fix everything and they've been working hard. So I, I have seen an improvement since I bought it. Um, and it's only 70 bucks for me. You can refund it in 60 days. So, uh, if you want, but I'm probably going to keep it because I, I, I mean, from what you guys seen in this video, they do have some benefits over SEO to D in my opinion, to be honest, at least from a data standpoint, and you do get more limits, right? With long tail pro, the, this keyword search, the keyword research functionality is from what I've seen so far, a bit better. The rank tracker is a little bit better. The the data is maybe is a bit more, at least from what I've seen in this video. Um, you know, maybe I'll maybe some of the stuff afterwards. Maybe I'll find that SEO to D has better in, for other searches or other domains, right? But just from the the ones I was doing in this video, Long Tail Pro would win in that respect. SEO to D definitely wins in terms of, in my opinion. Just like I see it more of as like a suite, a suite of tools, like, you know, in terms of the site audit, the, the white labeling, the the competitor, the competitor um, research and spying is probably better on SEO to D, right? Um, and just the user interface, it's kind of meant for that. Like if you're an agency, you're doing all these audits or this or that. Uh, SEO is good for that. It has a white label and it's just an all around great tool. In my opinion, like you really can't go wrong with either of these tools, especially if you're just doing the lifetime deal with long tail pro, because, you know, I know people were complaining saying it's a bad tool. Or it's not even a bad tool, but saying this, the support is bad or this and that. So, I mean, if it, if it, if you have a bad experience, just refund it. If you're doing the lifetime deal, that's my advice, right? I'm not going to say like, I, I don't really feel any ways just saying, hey, it's a great tool and you guys should buy it as long because you can, ref if you don't like it, just refund it in 60 days. This is the one tool I'll say that just as a disclaimer, disclaimer 
um, for you guys because there has been a bit of issues with it, right? But I, I think it's a good tool. I'm going to keep it and use it at least for now unless they unless something bad happens, right? Then maybe I'll refund it. But I'll let you guys know in that case. But um, it's only 70 bucks for a lifetime deal. In my opinion, you can't go wrong if you're getting the tier one. I wouldn't know. I, I mean, it, it, it depends. If you're going to get the higher like tiers where it's like 500 bucks, it, you have to think about it, right? Um, but... I mean, it's been around for a while. There's a reason it's it's a good tool. You know, the the the, the founder built it a certain way. It's it's really meant for keyword research, and that's why the name is Longtail Pro. SEO to it's 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 it has good keyword research. Um, and it's just more of like a suite, and it has more it has more tools and more features than Longtail Pro, and more better competitor analysis in my opinion, sleeker. Um, reports, you know, white label, this, that. So it's hard to say which one comes on top. I kind of outlined what I think is better on each, the pros and cons just for you there. At the end of the day, guys, you're going to have to make a decision for yourself. I'm going to leave the links for both these tools in the description below because I think they're both great tools at the end of the day. As long as, you know, um, Longtail Pro keeps it up and keeps improving, then I'm going to definitely keep it. Um, and, and yeah, I was planning on upgrading too. So I don't know if I actually will upgrade my, uh, lifetime deal with Longtail Pro. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but for now, I think the limits are good. You actually do get more limits on Longtail Pro from what I can see for a lot of different things than SEO to D at least in my plan. But, uh, maybe, 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 uh, I think SEO to D does have a few stuff that give you more limits. Plus they have more features, um, you know, that Longtail Pro just doesn't have. All right, guys. So that's pretty much my in-depth analysis between these two tools. Also too, guys, shout out to, um, you know, here's my SEO to SEO to review. I did a couple days ago. The reason I'm actually making this video right now is because I had, uh, some people asking me to do a comparison between this, uh, this, you know, SEO to D as well as Longtail Pro. So yeah. if you want like a, Let's a get review right into it, um, if you want to review specifically just on SEO to D, I'll leave a link to this one in the description. Sorry about that, guys. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And uh, it's just taking a bit to load here. But yeah, someone in the comments, uh, shout out to you, uh, Agency Build Growth, I think it, the name is, uh, suggested that I do this comparison video. So that's why I'm doing this video. Um, just to show you the comment. There he is right here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he has somewhere to do this comparison, I believe. Yeah, long tail pro versus SEO to D. So that is why uh, this is the this video idea came to be. So if you guys have any other video ideas about comparisons or this or that, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Because like I just showed you, I there's a good chance I will actually do it. And um, like I said, I upload videos every single day on this channel. I've been doing it for the last four months. Uh, we're growing at a fast rate. I have a bunch of co uh, content ideas and content in store for you guys. The quality of this channel is going to be improved upon. We're hiring editors very soon. My editing is getting better. A lot of different things are in the works. I have a bunch of ideas, a very solid content plan and calendar. The content is about to be insane. Um, you know, here at Executive Stride, we help coaches, consultants, marketing agencies accelerate their stride with a proven turnkey solution of business growth for their business, right? So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link so you can book a call, fill out a quiz and speak to either myself or someone from the team below. But uh, in our space, you know, there's a lot of people that are either like selling these programs or selling these courses with information and that for $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000. And my goal, guys, for this year, for the end of this Q4, start of the new year, I want to make this YouTube channel channel and um the content on this youtube channel more valuable than you know 10 like some people that may have gone through a ten thousand or fifteen thousand dollar program or course they see this content on the youtube channel and they're like wow i get more value from this free content than i do for paying ten thousand dollars for this product or whatever so that's the goal with this channel guys so if you want to support the journey and stay up to date with all the valuable content and bangers coming soon make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications that's all i ask if you don't like this type of content no worries no harm no foul and also too guys just like how i'm planning on 
uh, there are, is already a lot of valuable content on this channel and just like how there's about to be a lot more and there's a lot in the works we also have even more value bombs that are going to be being dropped in our private community right so we have stridecommunity.com it's hosted on in facebook groups and a disc we have a discord channel a telegram group and a whatsapp channel so it's our private community of like-minded entrepreneurs right and this community is a hundred percent free there's no fee to join i know a lot of people that uh you know charge fees to join okay yeah just as a side note yeah the backlinks reset in this much time okay but anyways just i know a lot of people that uh you know charge fees like 50 bucks a month or something like this for a community like this but there is no fee for this you guys can join and there's going to be a lot of behind the scenes videos resources uh you know discount codes on certain softwares just new stuff that i can't post on youtube or that i'm just not posting on youtube because it's only for the people in the stride community because then i know the people that actually take the time to actually just join the community are people that are serious about their growth they're not just people that are scrolling through youtube and maybe come across this video no shame to anyone obviously doing that but the people that are in our communities do get the most value that we can possibly give for free and also to obviously our subscribers on YouTube are posting a lot of bangers and stuff like that. So regardless of the fact, you're going to get a lot of good content. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope to see you in the free stride community. I'll leave a link to that. And I'll leave a link to Longtail Pro. I'll leave a link to SEO to D. And I'll also leave a link to executivestride.com forward slash quiz where you can fill out a short quiz and speak to myself or someone from the team. And we'll be able to see if we can help you in your business grow with prospecting uh, systems to fill up your calendar, with marketing systems, um, sales optimization, helping you solve a product market fit, um, and just a bunch of other stuff. We literally I have a bunch of videos and resources about what we actually do, how we help you. You can check out our website, uh, get acquainted with our resources. And if you think it could be a fit and I think we could help you, then book a call. All right. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Uh, keep hustling. Keep working hard. Keep growing your business. Keep improving yourself. And of course, accelerate your stride. Take care, guys.